Hello my dear family members, I have got something exciting for you today. If you are preparing for TCS and QT, then this will be very much helpful to you. Today we are tackling some tricky problems from the advanced coding sections of TCS and QT from the last paper. But wait, before we jump in, I have got a tip for you. Imagine having all the latest coding questions, past year papers and practice tests in one place sounds awesome right well you can have it just shoot me a message on insta to get the access trust me it's gonna take your preparation to the next level so let's get started and crack the questions together so the question is this so this is the actual question asked in recently in tcs nqt so please pause the video and try to solve the problem and let's check if your preparedness if you can solve this type of problem or not if you can crack the prime role or not if you can crack the digital role or not okay so i hope you are uh, trying this okay actually i copied the text and pasted it elsewhere so read from there okay so the question is today it's birthday of alice and little bob wants to gift her something bob has a collection of n beautiful candies in a random sequence irrespective of their sizes okay so uh, this is clear some candies are smaller some are medium and some are larger in size okay bob has already planned to gift a from a uh, gift from his collection right to alice according to his plan he will change the sequence of all the candies by performing a rotation of the sequence for r times okay so this will be uh, in, an input okay so after r rotations he will find the middle candy and if the middle candy is the largest candy in all the rest of the candies then he will gift the largest candy to alice and the second condition is if the candy is any sized candy between larger and smaller then he will gift that candy to alice if else okay this is the actually else condition if the candy is smallest candy in all the rest of the candies he will give Alice, the next larger sized candy. Okay, so let's get into the sample input. So the first input is five, right? So this representing number of candies like uh, this, and this is the actually second input that is all the elements of array. That is one, two, three, four, five, and this must be in a new line. Okay, and three that is the third input that is number of rotations of array of candies, right? okay so this is the rotation in this case okay so at the very first if these are the size of your candies if you are rotating to in clockwise from the left to right then in the first rotation the uh, present uh, representation of this array element will, would be like uh, 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 1 right and in the second iteration I mean in the second rotation the candy representation will be look like 3 4 5 1 comma 2 right and in the third rotation the representation will be like uh, 4 5 1 2 and 3 right so this will be the rep uh, representation of uh, of the candies right so after third iteration after third rotation the candy in the middle is the the smallest right so if the middle element is smallest then what is the condition that is if the candy is smallest candy in all the rest of the candies he will give alice say the next larger sized candy right so next larger size so one is the smallest and the next largest would be two right so that's why the output in this case is 2 right but in the question if you would have been asked like uh, let's say you would have been asked that the rotation is 2 right so your output should be what your output should be 5 because your output should be 5 why because according to the condition after rotation r rotations you will find the middle candy right so if the middle candy is the largest candy in all the rest of the candies then he will give that largest candy to the to her sister alice right so he found that this is 
largest so he will not check the other conditions right so he will give that five i mean the largest candies okay so third in the third rotation this is the third condition which is matching right that is if the middle element is the uh, smallest then he will give that to the i uh, will give the sec, uh, next largest element right so i hope you understood what the task is right so if you understood then please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section and check if you uh, if you are already prepared or not right you are uh, ready to grab the 11 lpa or not you are ready to grab the 6.5 lpa or not right so 15000 candidates are being hired so please give importance and try to solve this problem right so there will be very hardly there will be such opportunity will be again in this year right so i hope you will try this problem actually i will not solve this problem today i will give you the answer in the comment section or if you request me then i will solve the problem in the next video so i am now looking for a genius coder who will solve the problem and give the answer in the comment section let's see who can give the solution so now i will pause the video and i will play a music and give the solution within that time right so thank you for today's session Listen up, I got something to say About this channel that's paving the way Techno, the place where success is found Preparing for placement They got the sound Brian and materials, yeah they got them all From previous year questions to more tests, yo With Techno, you'll be fully on Ready to come, girl No need to be alone Study sessions, they got them live Helping you excel, they gonna guide Preparation is key, that's what they teach Unlock your potential, reach for the peak Reach for the peak